Hey, what's up, fishing world? This is Frank Mitchum here, Livingston. Um, people ask me what I do with my frog when I when I take it out the package. Well, today I'm gonna give you a quick tip on what I do with my frog when I take him out the pack. So basically, here's the frog. First thing I do is I take him out the package. <laughs> so I pop him out the package. Okay. This is a Livingston Lewis Freddie B. Okay. Pull these off. Put the rubber bands on the end there. Pull them off the end like that. Pull that one off. All right. So once I get those off like that, basically got a whole frog in front of me. What I do is I want to stagger the, the legs. I want to cut one longer and one shorter. I'll tell you why in a few seconds. So I cut this one by right here, but I'm going to cut it at an angle. Cut that one there, and then I'm going to cut this one by right here. All right. And the reason why I do that is because when I'm twitching that frog, when I twitch it, I want it to be off balance. If the legs are even when you twitch it, it's going to just sit there. Me, when I twitch it, I want it to move. So if I'm twitching, twitch, 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 when I stop it, it's going to, it's going to move because this is my weighted side. This is the uneven side. So it's going to move. So I twitch, 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 you want it to move. Twitch, 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 it's going to move. Even when you stop the tree. So that's one of the reasons why I trim my tails the way I do. All right? Again, this is the Livingston Lewis Freddie B frog. Um, if you notice, this frog is a little bulky. It's bulky because it has an EBS system inside. It's an electronic bait system, uh, sound system inside. Not sound system, but it's a bait system inside. Give out electronic sounds, bait fish sounds. And uh, so it have a little weight on it. So me, I throw mine on 65 pound seagull braid. And I know you want to know how I tie it. So basically this is how I tie it. So I go in the eye. One time, two times. If I'm catching three pounds, I go in there three times, okay? So I'm just going to do two times this time, okay? So I come out here. That's my loop. I'm going to slide this down a little bit. Got too much line out, okay? So that's my loop right there. Okay, here's my loop. Here we go. I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna go around this lead line. One, two, three, four, five. I'm catching five pounds, right? And I'm gonna go right back through this eye right here, and then I'm gonna go back through here. All right. I'm gonna wet it and slide it down. Pull it. As you can see, it's nice and snug on that knot. Right on the eye of that knot is snug real tight on there. You don't want no slack in there. When you set the hook you want your knot to be real tight. And then I just take this line here and I just clip it off. And that's it. So guys, that's my quick tip on uh, what I do with my frog when I take them out the pack. That's a little long but I'll shorten that up. Um, and uh, last but not least, I throw it on a 7 foot 2 quantum medium heavy rod with a uh, 7 to 1 gear ratio post reel by quantum. Um, you can go on to uh, livingstonlewis.com, pick these up, or you can go to Bass Pro Shop and pick yours up at Bass Pro Shop. And uh, these rods can be purchased also at uh, quantumfishing.com. So guys, that was my quick tip of the day. Again, um, this is Frank Mitchum. You can follow me on my social media, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, it's Frank Mitchum Fishing. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting videos just about every week on fishing tips. And basically on stuff that you guys, you know, uh, send me questions about. And basically, this is why I shot this video. But anyway, that's my tip on how I rig fill my phone my setup the whole nine um again it's your boy frank livingston signing out talk with you later bye now